Hi, Rory Singh here from the PowerhouseMarketer.com. We're going to talk about Cubitech, Cubitech and their domain merger, okay, and possible um, possible exit scam in effect. We're going to get into all of that in just a moment. If this is your first time to this channel, uh, find the big red button, subscribe, and even click on the bell notification icon. That way, every single time I go live with a new piece of helpful, creative, informative content, you'll be one of the very first people to get access to this important relevant information i'm also going to ask you guys to like this video and share this video so these type of videos will be able to get more exposure and help more people so we're going to get into cubitech cubitech dot dev as long along with um the old address cubitech dot ai okay so as it stands uh this is what the domain looks like um i refreshed it a few times i still can't get access to the hosted website that was behind this domain address okay um what i can tell you though for sure is that this domain the new domain that they created it's very fresh okay uh it was created i believe um on the third okay on the third of february okay what what needs to stand out here is not the exact date that it was created but it's a very uh new domain now why are they doing this okay i was searching around the at first when i came to the website someone on my channel left me a comment uh, the day before yesterday saying that cubitech um is no longer that they scammed exits it okay and when I came to this website, I was like, holy smokes, they actually um, didn't pull an exit scam and they're, they're nowhere to be found. But after doing some more due diligence and careful research that took me all of, what, maybe two minutes? <laughs> it took me a little longer than that, guys. Uh, I finally discovered that they didn't scam exit and they actually uh, have a new domain set up. It just has a different extension on it. DEV. Uh, versus AI. So the big question um, that I would be asking is why? Why is this happening? I also noticed that an announcement was made uh, by the admins, by Greg Lyman and his officials um, claiming that due to the wave of powerful DDoS attacks access to the domain of cubitech platform ai is temporarily limited to work on the platform use a mirror domain so they want you guys to use the mirror domain okay um so what i'm thinking is this domain may come back online anytime okay i did we don't know how long it's going to be um we just people are just going to have to wait and see what happens um but still the big question is why is all of this happening i noticed that originally yesterday when i came to the ai domain um the browser was giving me a different warning than it's given me right right now it's saying dns probe finished nx domain uh yesterday it was saying error name not resolved and i looked that up did more research on that and it's usually one of two things okay either there's a problem with your browser and obviously that's not the issue here because people are reporting the same thing worldwide so it's not a browser issue the only other uh problem or the only other um scenario would be the domain has been disconnected from the hosting site okay so this domain is connected to the Cubitech hosted website. This one here, for whatever reason, they're claiming uh, due to the recent DDoS attacks, etc. Um, is that BS? It could be. It could be. Um, but these are the error messages that we ha that I have gotten and what I have gotten today. Okay. So what it looks like is all they did was uh, disconnect website hosting and they're not giving a proper explanation why so we can we can never tell um why 
Ponzi owners do the things that they do. Now, some people are wondering, did they exit scam or are they going to? Okay. Um, well, first thing, I want to talk about the DDoS attack. I'm seeing a lot of Ponzi scheme owners, they use this usually when they start talking about DDoS attack, usually they scam exit. Okay, so that would be a big red flag. Just common sense, guys. Okay. Um, both the original AI domain and the new dev domain have had Cloudflare protection against DDoS attacks. Cloudflare protection is very cheap and costs around $20 per month. So since Cubitech has always boasted a 250% promised ROI, they cannot pretend that they cannot afford the 20 bucks per month protection that's in place for both domains. So I'm thinking BS, I'm calling BS on the DDoS attack idea, okay? So we can never tell what they're thinking. Here are three other scenarios of speculation. That's all we can do right now, speculate. Greg Lyman, this gentleman here, um, the CEO and his team have lost control over their AI domain, right? You never know, could be, maybe, or someone inside maybe sabotaged it, who knows? Second scenario, someone on the inside has set up a new dev domain to capture login credentials, who really knows? Third scenario, the AI version has been seized. Okay, by who or whom? That is still unclear. So what's really going on with Cubitech? Well, before Cubitech's website went down, they had two security fraud warnings in Spain and one uh, in the Ukraine. Okay, in the Ukraine, as we can see here. Could this be the reason for the merger to the new website domain address? Well, all I can tell you for sure is that what Cubitech's reasoning, DDoS attack, that's complete BS. Both domains have Cloudflare protection, ruling out their big announcement as lies, wouldn't it be? If, they, if it, they have protection? Whatever the real reason is, it's unknown for now. On top of that, the company admins are asking people to use VPNs. In the past, many of these schemes were blocking U.S. residents from joining because they didn't want to get in trouble with the U.S. SEC regulators. Okay. Um, if this is why they want Cubitech users to use VPNs, a VPN is just a software you can add to your computer and uh, block your IP address, especially if you're in the US. A lot of these deals, there's another one called Mining City. And uh, with that opportunity, uh, anyone in the US, and there's a ton of people um, promoting Mining City still illegally in the US and they're using VPNs to create accounts. Okay. Um, all kind of crazy stuff happening here. But it's, it's irrelevant because with the SEC, they don't care whether your users use a VPN. Um, they want, Cubitech wants Americans on board because um, they represent a huge part of the affiliate marketing side of things, the network marketing side. A lot of people are promoting um, Cubitech illegally in in the US and a lot of investors are investing illegally in the US, okay? SEC doesn't care about that. Uh, on, another important note here, guys, this isn't a criminal, this is a criminal offense. Some of you guys are thinking, oh, it's just network marketing, uh, no harm done. Um, but I see a lot of guys promoting Cubitech openly, some of them even using their real names. But whether you use your real name or not, uh, you could get, if you get caught uh, by any regulators in the Philippines, in the U.S., um, in Estonia, right, where Cubitech uh, is allegedly uh, being operated out of using a virtual office address provider, um, is irrelevant. What is relevant here is that you, if you guys get caught promoting these illegal investment opportunities meaning they're not registered with the security regulators anywhere in the world and this is not just speculation this is proof i seen some network marketers arguing oh they are legit they have a, 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 a they have a uk incorporation and stuff like that that is not registered with a securities regulator 
within the US, they gotta register with the SEC, and then they have to publicly show on their website, whether the old one or the new one, that they have proof that they're registered legally. The reason that they can't register with any regulatory uh, body of government for securities worldwide is that they're gonna get audited. They have to give permission to the regulator, like the SEC or the FCA in the UK as an example, or even the SEC in the Philippines. They have to give the regulator permission. They have to sign documents and say, uh, we're giving you permission to audit our company, just so the regulator can say, okay, we're gonna see where your revenue is actually coming from. And with Cubitech, what, what are they talking about? They're talking about um, investment type of revenue from um, passive passive trading. Isn't that, isn't that usually the case with these type of deals, right? And the problem with this whole idea is that once a regulator determines that no, you're not getting any revenue from any kind of trading bot or trading software or any trading team and all the revenue is coming from network marketing recruitment, that is when it creates a problem and that is why they can't register. So as it stands, Cubitech is still an illegal, fraudulent investment opportunity and anyone getting caught promoting this worldwide can face criminal charges, investigation, fines, and even possible jail time, okay? So I'm gonna conclude this video here today. Um, it, that's where it stands with Cubitech. Um, but what I gotta say here, I'm gonna close off with this idea. In the past with these type of schemes, whenever they start talking about DDoS attack and whenever they start creating new websites and new domain addresses, in the past with these type of HYIP Ponzi schemes, Usually, it's an indicator that a scam exit will soon follow. Okay, we just don't know when exactly this is going to happen. Very important information I shared with you guys today. So if you didn't already like this video, please like this video and share this video so, these ty so that these type of helpful videos can get more exposure and help more people, okay? from facing possible criminal charges as well as losing their hard earned money. Okay, thank you for watching guys. Again, my name is Rory Singh from the powerhousemarketer.com. If you're still looking for a legitimate way to make money online, my number one recommended uh, company, platform and system, affiliate marketing program, legitimate and lucrative. You can find a link to that underneath this video first link in the description. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video.